All right, what's up, guys? This is Juan with Full Send, and we're here this year at NATDA. And today I got a special guest with me. Uh, I got Jacob Kraft from Diamond C. So uh, I'll let him introduce himself real quick for those who don't know, and then we'll get to asking a couple questions. For sure. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, I'm Jacob Crab. Been in the uh, trailer industry for my whole life. Uh, Diamond C started a few years before I was born. So didn't really have a chance. Didn't really have a choice. So <laughs> they uh, born they right into us, it. Yeah, they call us trailer brats. Or, you know, so you grew up in the industry, but uh, just having a ball, man, here at the NATDA. That's good. That's good. So every last year was my first year, and coming in y'all's booth just amazed me, and just with the coffee shop and everything. And then even last year I had red trailers. This year I had blue trailers. Mm-hmm. So is that like a pattern y'all do? Y'all y'all just switch the colors around just yeah. to. So uh, over the years, we usually try and try and give a, I guess, a showcase of all the different colors. Yeah. You know, like I think we had dump trailers one color and, and equipment trailers another color. And this year, Sherwin Williams had been wanting to develop a new blue for us because our uh, kind of our theme color is yeah. blue, and so they developed one that's called Dynamic Blue. And so I thought, man, yeah, what better way to showcase it? We'll just do everything blue. Yeah. And so and and kind of the theme throughout the booth is blue and black and light gray and so. That's what we did, and and I think it turned out turned out pretty cool. No, it, it, that blue came out beautiful. It's perfect, and it matches y'all's company colors and everything. Um, so, what goes into it for y'all to prepare for NATDA? Man, we'll we will seriously start talking about it here in a few weeks, and we'll have we'll have that a, quick. We'll, yeah, just we'll, right we'll into have a, it. A, a debrief or a post mortem. Yeah. Afterward, we'll all come together. What worked? What didn't work? What are we? What are some big ideas while it's still fresh? And then uh, we'll start kind of planning. We'll, we'll, we'll go out from there a few months and then start having some meetings and the cadence will get closer. But, I mean, it's just, uh, you know, the, we want to showcase our product. That's at yeah. the end of the day, that's what we're selling. And uh, that's what we're, you know, we're, we're selling to the end user. But when we're here at the booth, we want it to be an experience for the dealer. We want to have a place where they can come. They can feel like they're at home. My wife's a big part of the, the design of the booth. And she, she's uh, all about making people feel at home. And so yeah, and that's in, most definitely. Warm. Yeah, yeah. You want a good place to sit, comfy place. The coffee, you know, soothes the soul. You know, we're big coffee drinkers, big coffee fans. So, um, yeah, we want it to be an experience when you come in and, and hang out with us. And and so that's that's kind of the inspiration. And then from there, it's just a it's a lot of a lot of work because I mean you can you can there's a lot of easier ways to have a trade show yeah. booth, but um, you know we we feel like the extra work is definitely worth it. Um, for the result so oh, that's great and yeah every time and uh, both times i've been here at the show and i've every time you go into y'all's business it, just, it feels like home mm. and it's warming welcoming everybody there and you always have a large presence <laughs> and is that like a game plan or yeah we definitely um as the years have have gone on and we've grown you know, our booth usually stays pretty busy all day, especially the full first day. And so we want to make sure we have enough folks that, that uh, nobody's going without yeah. being talked to. So, when, of course, we have account managers and the guys who are, who are actually handling the business. But we bring along, like my mom and dad typically come. They weren't able to make it this year. But my, one of my sisters came. She's not even in the business. You know, she, she sells real estate and stuff. But she's like, I want to go help. I've never been. I want to see it. So she came and she helped set up. And like I said, my wife, my brother's wife, like we bring a slew. And then we also bring folks from, uh, you know, the supporting functions of the business, like accounting, shipping, to where our customers get to meet those individuals as well and put a face to the name. Yeah. And so, yeah, we bring we bring an army (laughs) to where that (laughs) yeah, it's well you're well served in the booth. So it's uh, definitely, you know, like I say, well served and it makes the dealers feel like that that uh, we're we're putting out, you know, the I guess the best effort anyways. Yeah. So. I like to call y'all the Cadillac of trailers, huh. and everybody, and every time somebody wants a trailer, I always refer first, you know, if you want, like, the best Diamond C, then just work my way down. So, what's y'all's nec- next conquer? Like, what is the next project that y'all are working on that's going to be, hmm. like, a showstopper? Yeah, no, that's a good question. Um, you know, we, we have a few new things here at the trade show. Um, you know, we've, we've redesigned one of the one of our flagship dump trailers to incorporate um, a new new storage and lid design on the tongue with a, a really easy to use tarp and just trying to really curtail that experience for the dump trailer owner. Because yeah. you know, uh, we've if you've been around or seen the industry, 
especially the past few years, the dump trailer game is like everybody. That's the new point of entry yeah. almost. You know, used to for years it was car haulers and, and single axles. Well, now it's like if folks are getting in the trailer industry, we're going dumps first. And so the dump market has been fairly saturated. And so we really needed to, to uh, kind of up the, the differentiation game yeah. on our LPT. So, I mean, looking looking to launch that uh, first quarter of next year, which uh, we felt like it was it was it has been really well received. That's one. The 2.0 technology in the uh, in the engineer beam lineup is huge as well. That's um, I mean that we'd have we'd have to have another hour to go through all the differences <laughs> there, but we'll be launching that uh, here soon, and that's just a whole new gamut of material um, like material uh, types and like more exotic materials and yeah. things uh, to really make it even lighter and stronger than it was originally, and so we're we're super pumped about that. Um, but outside of that, I mean, it's that's <laughs> taking that engineered beam type um, effect is is what our goal is throughout our whole product yeah. line. So you'll see for the next few years, m- many more like monumental changes and and kind of like industry industry changing models and features yeah. that come out. So I can't share all no, the all the, the deep dark <laughs> stuff with you. But uh, but definitely just uh, so stay tuned for it. Yeah, yeah, the word. I mean, just I guess I put the word out. Like we're not stopping anytime soon. That's good. That's good. I will say this: that y'all social media. Um, I'm a bunch of on a bunch of forums, and one of them's uh, Diamond Sea Trailer Group, and mm-hmm. y'all's response time and being able to take care of that customer mm-hmm. with any questions that that they have, whether it's you or your brother or somebody from y'all's team. Yeah, is awesome because. If you look at it, it will be the question will be posted, and then five minutes later, or even less, it's y'all have a response form or hey, give me a call, and that's great. And you don't see that from many people nowadays. Yeah. It, that service has dissipated, and it's it's not there no more. And I, I believe that's what sets y'all apart from everybody else. Yeah, it's just that service. But yeah, well, I mean, you you think about the world we live in today, this Amazon type society that we live in. Um, everybody wants answers now, instant gratification. Yeah. like if they don't get the answer they want from their dealer and five minutes they're getting online and, uh, and yeah. just going to town and so that's that's kind of what we we've got a, you know several people kind of on on alert or on standby that when we see things online or even if it's good bad or indifferent you yeah. know we're trying to trying to respond and uh, in a in a good manner a quick quick time frame to get them taken care of and and so it, it like you said i mean it goes a long ways if you can get it that does it, it shows a, a whole lot of of value for the customer that they see, and especially those who are on look and wanting to figure out what they want to buy or what brand they want to buy. Yeah, so. for sure. But no, um, how have you enjoyed Nashville this year? It's been good. You know, the, the NATDA, we've been coming to this show since year one, which was okay. like 2008, I think, and uh, had been to every every one of them, had a, had a trade show booth at every one of them. Um, of course, everybody missed 20 because of COVID yeah. and all. But outside of that, um, we've been to Nashville. This is like the fourth time I think NATDA has been here. I think they did two years and then came back last year and then this year. But anyways, it's been good. Uh, we, we love doing the show in Nashville just because there's so much to, to see and do and hang out. And everybody has a good time. Yeah. So we had a, a reception last night for our dealers at uh, the Hampton Social. It was a rooftop bar and restaurant. And they had a great time. A few hours we hung out and just uh, you know got to really connect. I mean, that's that's such a huge part of it is the, the, the connections networking. and the relationships. Yeah. I mean, we had uh, one of our uh, parts sales guys, a phenomenal dude, but last night one of our dealers was just like, I just I didn't even know that about Julio. I mean, God, that is that is so cool. Oh, I gotta go uh, buy it, seat, see Julio. It, yeah, <laughs> and so I mean, it just uh, just seeing that you know that kind of that light come on. Yeah. I was man, that's what it was. Yeah, all no, that it. that's what what makes it worth the same thing with us there at the booth. Um, Miguel, uh, one of his old customers, came by like I didn't know you were working over here. I'm like, yeah. hey, but no, it's great, especially like you said, putting a face to the name always makes the great connection because yeah. now you know who you're talking to and you sure. can build, build a better bond yeah there's but. there were several of those that i had uh had not ever met before either so, you know whether they were kind of newer there's a guy from uh cmv trailers way up in uh, bc in canada that we had signed a couple of years ago and i'd never met him face to face and he walked in the hotel and i was like 
oh, like, you know, sometimes it's <laughs> like, that's not what I was expecting. You know, but he was uh, just super nice guy. And so it's really, uh, like you said, that's what it's about. It's really cool getting to, getting to connect. Yeah, no, it's, uh, well, yeah. that's all I got if you have any questions for me. I mean, yeah, and, and uh, the show's been, you know, again, there's um, talking about that engineer beam stuff. There has been a few, you know, uh, guys jumping on the bandwagon, and so just to re- reiterate, you know, what I was saying a while ago. I mean, our 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 vision and our drive is we we're gonna stay, you know, three years out, two three er- years out from now, and we're already working on, you know, the next just the next evolution, it. yeah, next yeah. evolution of it. So, but um, no, I mean, what I guess you, I could ask to turn the question around though, yeah. as far as the show goes. I mean, your second year, how, how, what do you think about all of it? Um. This year was a lot. It was a lot more people, um, a lot more vendors, and it was great. Um, the amount of traction we had with the big, because right now between that and then the other topic everybody's talking about is just the buyout that Dexter did with Textrail yeah. and how that's going to affect us. And I mean, honestly, with us, we really didn't purchase much from Textrail, so it doesn't really affect us as much. Mm-hmm. But it is something that a lot of the people are worried about, especially yeah. your, some of your smaller mom and pop stores that does don't have that. Um, it's unclear what's going to happen yeah, for them, for sure. and just with the supply chain. So just being able to be that presence for them and telling them, you know, I, having a place where they can go to get parts if they needed it. Yeah, I mean it's been great. And then uh, just the 10k we released this year, it's been really popping off with some of these other guys, uh, some of these smaller manufacturers that can't get their foothold in the door with some of these bigger companies. That's so, awesome, dude. Yeah, That's it's, great to hear. It's been great. Um, I expect a lot of great turnouts from it, and then we're also offering an affiliate program. So some of these smaller places don't have a parts store, mm-hmm. so they're getting a kickback from their customers coming to our website. So it's basically free money for them. So I got you. Very it's cool. helping them out. So no, it's been great. Cool. Yes, sir. Well, guys, appreciate it. Uh, Jacob's here, so if you have any questions for him, I know his contact will be there. And then uh, if you ever need any good trailers, the Cadillac of Trailers, Diamond C is where to go. That's right, baby, (laughs) DiamondC.com. Yes, sir.